Do you have a tough time finding products to sell on your online store? Well, I just found this cool free app that I just wanted to give you guys kind of a tutorial on how to use. This thing is crazy. So I'm just gonna hit start analyzing while it's in the background and scroll automatically. And I'm gonna explain to you kind of what's going on. This app is a Google Chrome extension. So therefore you have to be on a Google Chrome browser. But if you're on your Facebook newsfeed, and this is one of the little features that it has, there's tons of features. If you're on your Facebook newsfeed and you click start analyzing, it's going through my entire feed, pulling all the ads and giving me a ton of data on them, which we're gonna talk about in a second. But before I, I click them, I'm just gonna let it keep running. What these are is there's engagement. It's telling me how good is that actual post that I'm seeing on my page, 100% being good, 0% being bad, which is huge, you guys, huge, huge, huge. And then the next thing it's telling me is, is it a Shopify store or not? And that's very important because if it's a Shopify store, we get a lot of extra data. We can see their best selling products instantly. So that's also massive. And then we can look at the traffic rank. So they use a system that cross-references a few databases and this ranks their website in a global ranking fashion. Now, anything under 100,000 is absolutely insane. That's a monster of a website. There's billions of websites out there, right guys? So anything above 100,000 is monstrous. So I'm just gonna click stop analyzing. Um, oh, and as well, if you have really, really fast internet, you can click that accelerate button. So um, let's just rank by these. So if I go by engagement, I can see, okay, these are the best posts by engagement. We can see, you know, this one's got 600, or 6,600 likes, um, 1,800 comments, 2.3 thousand shares, and a million video views. I can also go and I can click Shopify. Okay, none of these stores had a Shopify, so I'll research that in a second. But if I go by traffic, I can see a lot of interesting things. Um, so obviously YouTube is going to be uh, one of the top competitors there next to Google. Uh, but we can see a lot of interesting data here. Now, let's say I wanted to go and say, okay, what, what is this ad? If I just click um, their name on there, it'll take me right to the ad and I go, oh, perfect. And I can like that ad. Now we're good. The next cool function of this, and this is what gets me really excited, is if I click the website and I go to the website, um, it will bring me here. And if they have a Facebook pixel, let's take a peek here. They have a Facebook pixel set up. I can click trigger Facebook pixel. Now, normally people just think, okay, if I visit the website, that triggers the Facebook pixel. Yes, this is true. What this one does, we can choose the task. Do we want it to think that we initiated checkout? Do we want it to think that we completed a purchase? So now you're seeing a whole different stream of ads coming your way if you trick that pixel into thinking you made a purchase because a lot of us as marketers will market things to you specifically after you purchase based on what you purchased. So now we can see this. So I'm just gonna hit trigger Facebook pixel and we can see that the Facebook pixel was triggered. Boom, we're good to go. Now I'm gonna get their Indigos, um, Indiegogo. I'm gonna get their ads as if I purchase something. So I'm very curious to see what those are gonna be. So now I can just keep a look in my news feed. So that's the first big thing. Now, this is a store that popped up on my last search that um, was a Shopify store. When you click the link on a Shopify store, it takes you to their best selling products in order. So this is very, very powerful if it's a competitor or if you're trying to find a new product to sell. I know that these are their best selling products. That makes it much, much easier for me. And same thing, since I like this company and I wanna maybe wanna sell in this niche, I'm gonna click and say that I purchased. So now Facebook thinks that I purchased and this website thinks that I purchased. So I'm also gonna get ads tailored to me based on what Facebook categorizes this store as. They're gonna choose ads specifically um, because now they think that I like this. They think that I purchase in this niche, right? So now I'm gonna see a lot more ads for it, which as a marketer, I love to see. As a consumer, maybe not so much, but if you guys are interested in finding products, this is the way to do it. But there's one last huge feature. So if you're on a Shopify store or if you've been in the Shopify app store, you see all these great apps. Now, as a marketer, I always wanna go, well, who's using these apps? Who's using this and are they doing a good job? So this is Kit. Kit is a cool app, I encourage you guys to check it out. Um, I don't use it, I don't recommend it necessarily, but it's got some very, very good features. Now, if I open up my app again, and I click Start Shopify App Store Review, look at that, boom, it just launched every single store that is using Kit as an app based off of traffic rank. So, huge, huge, huge advantage to us, even if you're not using Shopify yourself, this is a huge advantage because now I can click that and I can go to the store, and I can see exactly who my competition might be using this, this app is. So basically, the reason that this is powerful is in an app like Kit, you can do marketing off your phone. So it's not necessarily the best ad, but we always wanna see, well, who's maybe purchasing that style of ads? And now I look and I go, okay, that's interesting. 
And um, I'm obviously not going to be um, selling 3D printed uh, filament. Uh, that's just not something that's in my, my wheelhouse or my realm. But I can continue onward and, and I can continue to go through all these stores. Once you search it once, they'll be saved in the database. So sometimes if you click stop, start Shopify app, um, search, sorry, and there's a ton of apps in there, it can take, you know, five, 10 minutes for it to database these all because there's 900 people um, who have left reviews using this app, right? Now, where's that sweet spot? What should I be looking for on this store terms numbers? I usually look around that million number um, and that's solely because anyone around the million is doing good, but they're replicatable. When you get to these small, small top guys, there's a lot of brand awareness there. It's tough to compete, but they're still very, very good for reference. So, you know, I'm just going to click and I'm going to go amazing, um, amazing lace. Let's see what this is all about. And it'll open it in a new tab. Okay, quite interesting. Um, and that's something that, you know, I could probably find these products on AliExpress um, and I could just reverse image search this. A lot of things like that. These look like AliExpress products that I could replicate. So now I go, this is awesome. Um, I'm very, very interested in selling this. Let's say I made that decision. Same thing. Open up the My Big Edge product finder. Trigger the Facebook pixel. I did it for initiate checkout this time. That's because I want to see what they're going to send to me based off me not purchasing, right? Um, and something very, very interesting to know with this account, I can see things like, okay, they have four different Facebook pixels on there. That's very, very strange. I'm wondering why. Um, so Anyways, this app is very, very cool to help you guys find your next products, to do some competitive research, because now you can trick your competitors into thinking that you made a purchase or started a purchase. Um, of course, we can all make, make it seem like we started a purchase, but you can convince them that we made a purchase, uh, even though we didn't. Uh, so you're not spending money on your competitors, but you're getting the exact same ad stream that you normally would, which I strongly, strongly encourage. Plus, Facebook then is going, okay, Jared is interested in, I guess now I'm interested in, uh, in female clothing, but Jared's interested in female clothing and they're going to send more ads my way on this. I should have thought about this example before I hit that because now I literally will get more ads in this niche because I did that. Um, huge tool, but it's not done there. If you go to mybigedge.com, this is where you can download it. So if you just go to um, mybigedge.com, um, I'm already signed in, but it, it's just you create a free account. There's no credit card required and you get seven days to try it out. And if you like it, you like it. Um, there's a lot of things here. So it'll save all the ads you ever look at here. So, um, you know, I recommend people do this, you know, every single day. I say when you're on Facebook, just click this, let it run. You never know the ads that you're going to get. They're all going to save in here anyways. And then we can go through and we can start to, to, to sort these how we want and take a look at what we care about. Um, and just get uh, the, the data in front of us that we want to see. And then I can click through these exact same way that I did before. So um, if you do this on a daily basis, you're going to have hundreds and hundreds of ads in here and you're going to see, okay, what's the best global ranks? And you're going to go through and you're going to say, okay, I like that store. I like that store. I don't like that one. This is what I like. Trigger the Facebook pixel. And it's going to give you a huge collection of things to start to look at, guys. So I always think the product selection and product niche finding is the toughest thing to do. Um, I can single-handedly say this is the best tool I've ever seen for it, and I'm proud of that because I made this tool. Me and my team have been developing this tool, um, so I hope that you guys like it. Um, one other thing to note, once you've subscribed, uh, whoops, that's another thing. This is a feature coming soon, so if you guys get it now, you guys will get early access. Um, not everyone's going to have access to that, but you'll have to upgrade after five days. Um, if you want to unsubscribe, you literally click right there. It's that easy. So. Um, don't think that this is some loops and uh, hoops to jump through to get out of this. No, you literally click that button and you're unsubscribed. Your payment methods deleted from our system. We can't uh, easily get you to pay if we wanted to. You'd have to re-go through that process, type in your credit card information again um, if you wanted to subscribe again. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, lots of cool features going to be being added to this. I just started using it uh, on this demo account to show you guys. I really hope you like this. Comment your feedback or message me if you guys have any questions in regards to it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys download the app and enjoy.